Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. In today's video, I am going to show you some ideas on how to recycle your old candle jars and some candlesticks that you have laying around the house and, and you don't know what to do with it. So I'm just going to give you some ideas on what you could do with them, uh, just to beautify them a little bit and repurpose them. So without any further ado, guys, just grab your tea and let's get started. First, you want to boil some water and then pour some water in each one of your candle with remaining wax in it. Then just let it sit until the water is at room temperature. Now, as you can see, the wax floats to the top and you just pull it out. It's that easy. Now you want to soak them in really hot water and soapy water so that you can easily uh, remove the labels. Now I'm going to use Goo Gone on the um, jars that has remaining residue and then I am going to give that a really good wash. And now these are really nice and clean and ready to use. I have two other candle jars here that I'm going to use to make a project. I am going to use some of these uh, dessert cup and I am also going to use some Gorilla Glue. I turned that dessert cup upside down and I'm applying some glue on the bottom part of the dessert cup. Now I'm taking my candle jar and I'm putting that upside down and I am going to apply that dessert cup on the top so that they can be glued together. And now I'm taking a, a baby wipe and I'm just gonna wipe any excess glue that might have come out when I applied pressure. I'm going to make two of these, so I'm just repeating the process. I'm going to use two of the jars that I cleaned and I bought two candlestick at the dollar store. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my sprayer. I got this at Home Depot and it is the best for $10 and it just hooks on the top of your can and it makes all the difference in the world when you spray. I sprayed them with some black spray paint and I sprayed a white one as well. I'm going to take some white crafts paint and I am going to use a small brush. I'm going to dip into the paint, but I'm gonna wipe a lot of it off because I wanna use it a little, just a little bit at a time. And I'm just gonna go and rub all around the bumps and the edges to give it a little bit of a rustic look and some details. I'm going to apply some on the middle as well and on the bottom and top edges. I'm going to take some hot glue and I am going to apply some rope in these, this crease.
I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom crease. Now I'm taking my little stash out. These are little, um, they're to make bracel bracelets. You buy them at Michael's and you can buy like the pieces like to make bracelets and add stuff to it and all that. And I just use them randomly on different things. And I'm not sure which one I wanna use. Um, I definitely wanna use one to give a little bit of a detail to, to my jar, so. It depends on what you use it for. Is it a gift for somebody? But I mean, you can use pretty much any one of them. And what's nice about these is that they are rounded and they fit perfectly to the jar. I think this one is perfect for what I wanna use it for. So this is the winner. Now I'm going to take a long piece of rope as I want to go around that jar several times. I'm going to say about five or six times. So the jar needs, uh, the rope needs to be fairly long. And I'm going to pass that through uh, my little um, decor here. And you want to make sure that you pass the rope through the loop and behind the little um, jewel and then back through the loop. Now I'm going to put that on my jar like this and I'm going to go back uh, of the jar with the rope and I'm going to just crisscross and come back out front and pass one rope of the top of the little jewel piece and the other rope on the bottom of the little jewel piece. You want to make sure that your rope stays nice and tight and now I'm just going to repeat this about five times, four or five times until I find that it's uh, the rope is thick enough. When I'm done I'm just going to tie a little knot on the back and cut the leftover rope. Now I'm just going to go ahead and fix that rope a little bit, but I found that it was too much in the middle for me. So I decided to push all that rope a little bit higher to the top edge. So I'm going to be very carefully and I am going to slowly push that up uh, a little bit at a time all around so that I don't ruin any of my paint and I think it's going to be better. And here's the final results. This is a cute little um, piece to put anywhere in your home. And here is one done in white. I've used some Ray Dunn font to put a little uh, word, inspiring word on uh, the um, candle uh, jar now I'm going to take my two candlestick and I'm gonna spray paint them in white now my candlestick are dry and I'm going to use some of my bare uh, black wax to do this with a small brush and I'm just gonna come and apply that to the center area where I got all these little uh, bumps and I'm gonna go around and do that. I got the uh, bare wax at Home Depot and it's lasting forever. And now I'm gonna take an old rag and just wipe uh, some of the access. Now I'm taking a sand block and I'm just gonna go and sand on those little lump as I wanna bring a little bit of that silver that it was originally through. I'm using a, a nail file to get closer to the edge. 
Now I'm going to hot glue some rope around that little ledge. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom ledge. Now I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue and I'm going to take one of my um, candle jar and I am going to apply some glue on the ledge of the candlestick. Now I'm going to put my jar upside down and then put my candlestick on top as I find it easier to center everything. I'm going to take a wipe and I'm going to wipe off any excess glue and I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours. Now I am going to simply take some natural looking rocks and fill the jar. Now I have two pieces of a succulent plant and I'm just gonna shorten it up a little bit and just place that in the jar. And here is the result for this one. I really like the clean look of this one. I find this is very simple and very clean looking. You could put a real plant in there instead if you want it to. Um, or any other type of little greeneries would look good as well. I've had these candlestick now in my attic for quite some time. So I had picked them up at uh, Wicker Emporium. Um, I used to really like that color at that time, but now I don't so much anymore. I find them dark and heavy. So I want to brighten them up and use them in my space again because they really are nice wooded um, candlestick and they have a really good foundation and a lot of details. So I'm just gonna use a paintbrush. I got this paintbrush at Home Depot and I basically use it for everything, painting the house, doing some crafts. So I just make sure I keep it nice and clean and it lasts forever. So if you don't have one of those, go to Home Depot and get one. And I'm just going to paint um, both of the candlestick with some uh, homemade chalk paint. And uh, I am going to give two coats of chalk paint to the candlestick and I'm going to let dry between each coats. Now that my candlesticks are dried, I'm just gonna take a sand block and I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly sand where all the details are. Um, it's gonna give it a really nice uh, rustic look. It's gonna be nice and fresh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly sand for to start but i may go heavier in places and this is all a preference you sand as much as um, you want uh, so that you can achieve the look that you like now both of my candlesticks are sanded and i'm absolutely in love with the results it's really rustic and farmhouse looking so now i'm just going to take some uh buffalo plaid ribbon this is just like a tiny ribbon a quarter of an inch and i'm just going um just to make a little knot and let the ribbon hang down long um to give it a a little bit of an accent to my candlestick I've bought these terracotta uh, planters at uh, the dollar store and I bought two uh, different sizes, a smaller one and a bigger one. And I went ahead and painted that with my homemade chalk paint again. And I'm not going to use the bottom part for this. I'm just going to use the top part of the planter that I bought. 
and I went ahead and made myself a um, stencil um, with radon inspired letters to put um, on the flower pot. Now I'm going to take my flower pot um, to my candles and I am not going to glue these flower pots to my candle holder as I want to reuse these candle holders in the future. So all I'm doing is basically uh, placing them on the top of my candlestick um, for both of them. And then I am going to simply um, add nice little plants in it. And this is the result. I'm really loving these fresh farmhouse uh, looking candlesticks with planters on top. This is um, a very cute added touch to my living room and I'm especially in love with the radon inspired uh, words that I use on the flower pot. I've bought two birdhouse at the dollar store and I'm going to use some stain Alexandria by Benjamin Moore and I am going to stain these birdhouse all over everywhere. Now I'm going to paint the body part of the birdhouse. I'm not going to put uh, any paint on the roof and the ledge of the roof and the base part of the birdhouse. I'm going to keep that stained and for this I'm using simply some bare um, flat paint. It pretty much works as the same way as what any chalk paint would do. Um, so I had that on hand. I have a big gallon of it, so I might as well use some of it. Now both of my birdhouse are painted and I'm taking a sand block and I'm going to sand all the edges of the birdhouse. So in every corner around that little circle hold for the nest and I am also going to um, sand the surface just to give it some nice rustic feel to it. I just want it to look a little bit weathered worn uh, if you want to say. Um, so I'm just going to sand as much as I feel to achieve the look that I want. Now that I'm done sanding I'm taking a paintbrush and I'm going to dip into my paint but I am going to wipe some of it off as I want to not have too much at first but I just want to rub that on my stain uh, very lightly just to then again give it a little bit more uh, of a detail effect and a little bit more of a worn out look if you want to say and it makes it nice and rustic and I love the farmhouse look that it's giving me. If you want more white you just dip more into paint and do it over or just wipe less paint off your paintbrush. Now I'm going to use uh, some moss grass. Um, I got moss grass at the dollar store and it comes in a big package so it lasts a long time and I am going to simply uh, cut pieces of that grass and I am going to hot glue that all around the base of the birdhouse. Now I'm going to take some feathers that I got at the dollar store as well and I'm just going to use um, about four or five feathers and I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue just to um, put them in place. Now I'm going to use um, this little bird, I bought this little bird nest at the dollar store and I am going to use um, the little bird and the little egg. I'm going to glue that little egg in place in the front corner of my birdhouse. 
I have completed my second birdhouse with the feathers and the grass, but at this time I put the feathers on the opposite side of uh, the other birdhouse. Now I'm going to take some mustard yellow ribbon and I'm going to use my bow easy and I'm going to make two bows for my birdhouses. Now I'm just going to hot glue these two bows in places. Then again, I'm placing bows on opposite sides. Now I'm taking a little bit of the grass again and I'm using the birdhouse, the one with the little um, egg on it, and I'm gonna place a little bit of that grass on top of my roof. Now I'm simply going to hot glue uh, the little bird uh, on top of that grass. And this is what the bird houses look like. Now I want to bring these bird houses a little bit more to life, so I'm going to hot glue a little bit of greenery uh, on the bird houses. I displayed the birdhouses on the candlestick that I used earlier with the planters and like I said earlier I didn't want to glue anything to the candlesticks as I wanted to use it for something else in the future and here is an idea on what else to use on candlesticks. These will be displayed in my uh, home decor. There will be an upcoming video uh, where I'm going to be decorating my kitchen living room again. If you haven't seen the last video, uh, you can check it up on my channel. But the upcoming video will be decorated uh, with the accent colored uh, yellow mustard and these will be used in my decor. I've had these candlesticks for some time now, but I want to do something different with them. I really love these candlesticks and I'm definitely not going to be parting with them, but I want to do something different. So I'm going to use some rope and I'm going to apply it on the top edge and as well as the bottom edge. Now I'm going to take a glass jar that I got at the dollar store and place a white candle inside of it and I am going to use some of these natural looking um, rocks and put it all along um, the side of the candle. Now I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue and I'm going to apply that all around the ledge of the candlestick and I am going to put my bowl on top of it and the reason why I did my bowl first is it's going to give a nice weight um, on the candlestick and it's going to cure together better. And now I'm just using a wipe to wipe off any excess glue around the candlestick and I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours and here is the results I'm loving uh, the way this turns out it really gives a nice uh, more elegant feel to it I guess it's kind of the word I'm looking for it definitely gives it another look altogether. Well, that's it for uh, the video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, 
please give me the thumbs up. I would love to hear all your comments down below. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, please do so. Until next time, folks, have yourself a great day.